Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Joe Usual and today I'm gonna to show you how to get to the Elven Village, how to speak Elvish permanently, and so you can activate their quest lines. And then I'm also gonna show you how to make flower bundles and give them as gifts, because you're gonna to need to do that to get this to work. Now, first of all, I'm gonna tell you, you don't need to come to the Elven Village to finish the storyline. I've beaten the game already. Uh, I've, I've, I've killed the final dragon and you do not need to, uh, you do not need to come here. But if you want some extra storyline, you want some extra quests, um, I'm just gonna show you how to get here right quick. So what you'll do is you'll start at Vernworth. Go ahead and find the ox cart at the northwestern area of the town, and then go across the bridge northwest out of there. Go ahead and follow the main road until you're gonna go ahead, and don't go left, you're gonna wanna go northeast, and then at the fork, you're gonna wanna go west, northwest. You go northwest through here, and then you will keep going northwest until you hit this fork right here and then hang a right. Go northeast and then go north. At this fork, you'll hang a, a left and go northwest. Go across the river. And then, or you can actually keep going. You can go across the river on the second passage. If you go too far, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. Just keep to the left. Then go west. And then at this fork, go north. And then right here... This is the important part. Right here, you're going to find um, you're going to find a, a big ruin with a chimera in here. Okay, so right, this is uh, the mountain ruins is what they're going to call this. This is the mountain ruins. So right in here is a chimera. You're going to have to defeat that chimera, and then there's a tunnel right at the back side of these mountain ruins. Go inside that tunnel. Okay, you're going to find a bunch of a bunch of bandits, and also there's an ogre in here, but an ogre shouldn't be a big deal, and he's inside the cave. And once you come out to this other side of this cave, you're going to go northeast. You're going to go here at this fork, hang a left, and go northwest, and then north, and then you're going to find yourself at the Sacred Arbor, and that is the Elven Village. All right, to understand anyone in this village, because they're elves, you're going to have to get Woodland Wordsmith on a pawn, okay? That has to be their specialization that they've got. So uh, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, the one way is you can just go down to the Riftstone that's right around the corner here, and you can go ahead and you can just hire a pawn that knows Woodland Wordsmith. And so you just go get into, get into the Rift, and then up top, you can see it says general information. Just scroll over until you get specialization in quest and find somebody who has Woodland Wordsmith as their specialty, as their specialization. And I don't think I see anybody right now. If you don't see anybody, that's okay. Don't panic. You can go ahead and you can actually, we can, I don't see anybody. So you can go ahead and just leave the rift right quick and you can go back in. And then what it'll do is it ra it's random anyway. So you can just go ahead and you can just examine and hold go back in and it'll give you another batch of pawns and just go back again find specialization there we go Nika right here has woodland wordsmith so you can just go back in and, until you find what you're looking for so I would add Nika to my party I already have someone who has woodland wordsmith right now so it doesn't really matter and so we would get Nika in our party we dismiss somebody else and remember you can always go back and get the same person again because you can always go and you can say search for pawn and view previous hired pawns. So if you dismiss one, you can always go back and get another, get that same pawn again. So long as you know they're you know of a level that you still want to use them. So you can always get back, get that same pawn that you dismiss back if you just need uh, somebody that speaks Elvish for just a second. But if you just choose that you want, if you choose that you want your main pawn to actually know Elvish permanently, you can go ahead and do that and I'm gonna show you how to right now. So there's two different people you can speak with to do that and one is Grisha and the other is the innkeeper. So I'm gonna do the innkeeper, but uh, Grisha is the armorer. I'm not gonna actually, we're not gonna talk to her. I'm just gonna show you where she's at. Grisha's right here. So you can actually do this with Grisha, what I'm about to show you, or you can go to the inn, which I'm going to go to the inn because uh, I've already got that pre-recorded, so that's what we're going to go through. Now, I will, before we show you that, though, I want to let you be aware, if you have a specialization on your main pawn that you like, then you want it, and you want to keep it, then don't do this. Because once you learn the tome, you'll lose the old one, the old specialization, and you can't switch them out like you can with, say, uh, augments, right? So you can't do that. So once you, once you learn a new tome, the old one goes away until you find the old tome again, but there might not, it might not exist because you might have, there might be only one instance of it in the game. So if you have something that your a specialization that your pawn uses that you like, keep it, all right? Just hire somebody that speaks Elvish. You don't need to do this, but if you do, let me show you how you do that. 
You're gonna go over here and you're gonna go to the inn. You're gonna need four bunches of flowers, okay? Now to make flowers, because you, what you wanna do is you wanna raise the affinity of the innkeeper here, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want, you're gonna gonna go over to her. And this is all subtitled, right? She's still speaking Elvish, but we understand what she's saying because it's subtitled. Because I have, I have someone with, with, uh, with Wordsmith in my party right now, so we understand her. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to understand her. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, I'm going to go, we're going to storage. I'm going to combine flowers right now. The different flowers you can use to make your, your flower bundles are going to be sun bloom, noon bloom, moon glow. Um, also, be aware if you leave them in your inventory for too long, they will turn into freaking um, uh, dried flowers. And now they're just dried flowers because they went ahead and they wilted. So don't, don't let that happen to you. Make them fresh on the spot. So we'll go ahead and we'll combine. I'm going to combine sun bloom with, uh, I'm going to make three, three, I'm going to use moon bloom and I'm going to make three bunches of flowers. Okay. Down in the, uh, in the bottom right hand side of my screen, it says gift, gift, Y. And then it'll put me in my inventory. If you're on Xbox, it'll be the B button. And if you're on PlayStation, it'll be the circle button to give a gift. Okay. And it's Y on mouse and keyboard. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go flower bundles. Yes, give her one. There we go, well, well. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to sleep for the night. We're gonna rest for the night. It's 3,000 to rest, we're gonna rest till the morning. There we go, it's morning time again. Let's go ahead and let's go talk to her one more, let me go ahead and talk to her one more time. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna organize storage, combine. Uh, so let's, uh, and we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna use non-bloom, it doesn't really matter. Uh, y y which one you do, because it's a bunch of flowers, is a bunch of flowers. I'm gonna create one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, back out, and we're gonna give her a, a, a final gift. I appreciate it truly. Here, for you. So she's giving me something. Okay, now we got the Woodlands Wordsmith Tome. Tome that grants a pawn the Woodland Wordsmith specialization, allowing those in the pawn's company to comprehend Elvish. So the thing is about this is you're not get doing it for yourself. You're using this for your pawn. Now you you don't have to give it to your pawn. You just can just you can just uh, go ahead and just use it. So now uh, my main pawn's name is Monogard. Acquired the Woodland Wordsmith specialization. Also, when it comes to finding flowers, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to go ahead and you can find them all over the wild as you're walking. If you have a pond that picks things up for you, they're going to be picking those up. So make sure you check their inventory. Um, you know, right in here uh, in, to the northeast, we're gonna, there's going to be some um, up in northeast over here. But you know what? Anywhere I've gone, I've picked flowers up. So they're going to be everywhere. However, if you only have one type of flower in your inventory when you get to the end, end of this cave here, all along the last trek right here to before you get to the Elven Village is Moon Glow. Matter of fact, you can follow the Moon Glow all the way to the Elven Village once you get out, out of this cavern here. So you're going to be able to pick that Moon Glow and get your second flower that you need for your flower bundles anyway. So it's not that big a deal. There is no vendor in here that sells flowers. It's it's a sacred arbor. But in, in Batal, if you've already been to Batal, there is a flower vendor down there. You can get it. And so if you needed to fast travel back over to Vernworth, from Batal, you could if you wanted to. That seems a little excessive to me because there's flowers everywhere in this game. So just be aware, keep your eyes open. You should be able to find four, four flowers before you get to the end of this cavern to be able to get um, the moon glow to make the bunches of flowers that you need. It should not be an issue for you. So hopefully that helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. And if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.